Good afternoon. My name is Michael Wren, and I work at the United States Indian Political Action Committee. Our organization represents over 3.2 million Indian Americans across America. We have also been very active in supporting liquefied natural gas exports between the United States and India. Today, uh, we speak with Congressman Louis Gomez from the 1st Congressional District of Texas. Congressman Louis Gomez, thank you very much for meeting with the United States Indian Political Action Committee today. Um, our first question is, uh, you supported the Domestic Prosperity and Global Freedom Act. Please tell us how you think that this bill would help promote LNG trade between the United States and India. Well, first of all, I think that uh, when you have a democracy uh, like India, uh, the largest uh, population with a democratic form of government, then uh, the United States and any such country ought to be friends and we ought to work together uh, for, for common purposes. Uh, as far as I know, India has never harbored a, uh, uh, someone, an Islamic terrorist who wants to destroy the United States. I think that's a good thing that India has never harbored a, a terrorist that wants to destroy the United States. I think we ought to be better friends. And so when we have a bill that will promote uh, less terrorism because it is the U.S. providing natural gas that we now know we have two, three hundred years, what we know of so far, of natural gas, and India with its population needs a good, clean source of power, and there's no carbon energy anywhere that is cleaner than natural gas, then it, it and, and understanding India's need to uh, suppress the pollution because of the number of people. And it, it, it just seems like a perfect fit. Uh, it will avoid India having to be at the mercy of countries that are not democratic, that do not have India's best uh, at heart, that do not want to necessarily see India succeed uh, uh, economically, uh, but would rather bring democratic countries to their knees. Uh, this is a good thing. More trade between India and the United States, providing liquefied natural gas, burns clean. I know there are people that are concerned about carbon uh, dioxide, but actually it beats producing carbon monoxide, which is can be fatal. And plants need carbon dioxide in order to uh, have photosynthesis to grow and be greener. People want greener. Uh, this, is, this is a great thing, I think, for India and for the United States. It brings us closer, so I'm for it. Wonderful. Thank you, Congressman. Our second question is, uh, shale natural gas is a very important issue in your district and in the state of Texas. How has shale natural gas um, helped Texas and your district avoid the worst of the Great Recession? Avoid the what? The worst of the Great Recession. Oh, well, since um, we've been blessed with so much uh, natural gas that has been found in shale formations, and we have more than one shale formation in my district, in East Texas, that uh, produces vast amounts of natural gas and whereas of the 36 congressional districts in Texas my district there in East Texas produces more natural gas than any of them then it pr produces jobs it helps the economy and if we can help India not fall be subjugated to the demands and whims of countries from which terrorism has grown and can cultivate that relationship. It helps India, provides them much cleaner uh, form of energy than India has been utilizing, and uh, it also helps provide jobs. A lot of people aren't aware, but in the 1930s when the worst depression uh, in American history was, was occurring, they had found oil in East Texas in my area. And that oil helped bring that entire area and state 
out of the depression because of all the oil that was being produced. There's still some oil being produced, but natural gas is so much cleaner. We have so much more abundance of it. So uh, it is just, I think, a great thing, a great win for both India and for Texas, providing jobs there, clean energy for India. And um, God help us if America starts making uh, demands as Russia or other countries have and trying to hold people hostage. We have sacrificed people's li American lives and American treasure to help create freedom for other countries. Uh, no country does that or has done that. We want people to live free. We think that's what was intended. And if we can help a great nation like India have even more freedom, then it's a great thing for India and it's a great thing for Texas. All right? Thank you, Congressman. Um, our next question is, there's a great deal of regulation about LNG exports, especially from the Department of Energy and the Federal Energy Regulatory right. Commission. Do you think a more free market approach would help LNG trade? Yeah, uh, a more free market approach would definitely help uh, help trade much better. But frankly, let me tell you, I had concerns because of how clean natural gas burns and how much it's able to help cut down on pollution and how abundant it is in Texas. I have been reluctant to want us to be um, shipping natural gas, even liquefied natural gas to other places. I've been reluctant to support that because I want America to begin using more natural gas because it's cleaner and it is such a great source of energy. I wanted America to start utilizing that more in cars and other places before we start shipping it out of America. But what has changed my mind about that is the way I've seen Russia threaten Ukraine, threaten Europe. They get a uh, a pipeline of natural gas headed to Europe and they get one to Ukraine and then all of a sudden they can threaten them to, and try to uh, blackmail them and extort things from them and that's what's changed my mind. We need to start exporting natural gas even before America gets totally uh, on it, cars, other places. It's a great source of energy, be great for America, but it'll also avoid other countries falling prey to a country that wants to blackmail them. So really, I've been reluctant to, to push for complete free market trade with LNG, but I'm there now because of the, all the good it will do for freedom in the world. And of course, free markets allow people to do better uh, than government, complete government regulation. You need some to make sure people play fairly, but then once they're playing fair, the government should get out of the way and let the market take its course. So I am now on board. I was not originally. I wanted us to be using it first before we started shipping it out. But what's going on in the world is too dangerous. And for a country as large as India, uh, several times larger than the United States, we need to be helping India not fall prey to that kind of extortion. So that's my thoughts. Okay, uh, wonderful. Our last question is, what do you encourage U.S. impact members to do to support LNG trade? Well, they just need to, to get on board and understand when you have uh, a bill, you have a form of trade that will be this good for the trading partners in so many ways. Uh, we just need to do it pure and simple. So thank you. Thank you for your interest in it as well.